Hi. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I'm a bit zany of an artist. Um, and I'm welcoming you to my Patreon page, um, supporting a script writing process involving Dutch master's work. Um, I belong to a very old family, uh, apparently from Belgium. Uh, we've learned a lot of this secondhand. Um, the others were very paranoid after World War II. Um, so we were originally told we were German. And, um, <laughs> I guess I have to stop <laughs> the alarm. Um, <laughs> just so you know, I'm in a mall and I'm doing this live in a mall with all this beautiful ambient light um, because to showcase great art, you need ambient light. And I thought it would be a great introduction. I wasn't expecting alarm, um, but welcome to a very live experience. Um, back to the story. Uh, so near as we can tell, our family is about 900 years old. Um, we've been in uh, America for about five generations. And uh, we have this lovely, lovely um, Dutch master's apprentice artwork. Um, near as we can tell, it is not an actual Dutch master, but possibly an apprentice. The work is very dark. You'll see it on my Patreon page. Um, but it's just a beautiful little piece. Um, not much bigger than any of them. It's very small, um, but it captures a moment in time and has lots of symbolism and um, messages hidden in it, and we'll go over those as well. Um, but basically, I'll be creating a movie script, and in the movie script, we'll um, explore the Dutch master, Peter de Hooch, and he's my favorite. Um, I mean, there's 300 of them. How do you capture all of them? But he was a blessing. Um, he lived at the same time as Vermeer. The guy, uh, the movie uh, Girl in a Pearl Earring uh, was done. Actor with Scarlett uh, Johansson. And um, so he was a peer at the time. They're not 100% sure they knew him, but they were all in the same guild. So everybody is pretty sure they probably knew each other. Um, uh, one of the things that happened to Piet, I like to call him Pietrovich, and you will begin to count the times I do, because um, there will be a reward at the end for everybody who gets to count right. Um, but anyway, uh, are you beginning to realize I'm a little zany? Oh yeah, I am very zany. Um, but it's fine, and it's part of being an artist, and I get that. Anyway, get free licensing, zany artists. Anyway, so Pietrovich um, went through this period of time in his life um, where he entered into a state of madness. Uh, things happened in town, uh, a great tragedy happened, and near as the historians can tell, either he or his son, they're not 100% sure, um, entered into an insane asylum voluntarily for about 10 years and when he came out his artwork was never quite the same um, it was pretty devastating for him uh, but I think a lot of the topics that I'll be talking about in my movie script uh, will cover how modern day people go through those kinds of experiences and how to get through them navigate them um, so there's gonna be a lot going on uh, the main character will be a female, Adelaide, and um, she'll actually be named after my grandmother, um, who is from the Hess family, and a German family. And um, I, with the little nickname of Heidi, um, is the nickname of Adelaide as well. Um, so that'll be little tiny perils here and there, but for the most part, I'm not going to be in the movie. I would be writing the movie totally different. <laughs> but, um, and I do apologize again for the noise. Um, I am in a mall. Uh, I actually get to hear it more than you do. <laughs> but keeps it real, keeps me honest. And uh, hopefully we can have a little fun with it. Again, 
I would love your support on this. This is going to be an amazing experience. Not only will you, um, my patrons, be helping and watching me in this creative process, you'll really be interacting with me um, in, through the um, live feeds, um, maybe even on the Facebook page. Uh, we'll see what medium works best for all of you guys. And you'll be giving me direct feedback, um, your own insights, uh, your own studying. And um, depending on how much you contribute, you might actually be at the critique circle, uh, the round table circle, um, to review the final draft um, before it goes off to wherever it's gonna go. Um, I do have two actors of mine. I won't tell who, you, who they are at this exact moment, um, but um, as the characters develop, you'll see that the, the real people um, that will be in um, characters in the movie, uh, they have very strong continuing looks. Um, and they're, the actors will sort of reveal themselves. Um, yeah, I think, I think when you see what I see, it's going to be amazing. You'll sort of see the same lines. And um, yeah, so this is going to be a ground route, you know, very much like Much to Do About Nothing or Deadpool. This will be a ground up kind of movie will be um, gathering um, casting directors and we'll be gathering um, details and costumes. I'll be designing costumes. Uh, we'll be designing my, maybe even pottery and uh, food. And we'll design a lot of the movie so that when it gets to the end, um, a lot of it's prepackaged, a lot of it's done. Um, you know, the, the prop director will have an idea. They'll go off on their tangent and do whatever, but they'll have an idea up front um, what everybody's sort of, um, me and you, our collaboration, everybody sort of went for. And they'll see the natural progression of it. <laughs> the noise. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but you got to admit, the light here is just amazing. Um, anyway. So we'll go on this journey. Um, you'll I'll eventually have a GoPro parrot and um, we'll visit some museums and curators directly. Um, some of the leading docents in the field. Um, we'll go to various foundations that helped gather up Peter's work and um, brought it all together. Uh, hope to get some interviews with some famous patrons of that entire process. So this is going to be a really great journey. Um, my suggestion to you is consider it already done. Uh, consider it done. We're simply trying to capture it in the process. Um, and who knows, maybe film students will look at our work somewhere down the line and go, ooh, don't do that. Or, oh my God, that was the best thing that ever happened. And, <laughs> um, you know, somebody's got to try it once. And I chose to try it with, on Patreon um, because I felt it was really important to give traditional patrons um, opportunity um, to know that in this very cyberspace world, there is a place for you. Um, the patrons of the art world still have a place and can still connect up with artists. Um, so welcome to my adventure, my journey, and I look forward to meeting all of you and talking with you, um, learning from you. Hopefully you learn a lot from me. Um, and let's just have an amazing experience love you all. This is great. I'm so excited. Thank you. Have a wonderful day and grab everything you know about art. We're going to go on an amazing journey. <laughs>